watching Thrifty Kniffy. Hello everyone and welcome to Thrifty Kniffy. Well we're going to be looking at a case knife today and let's take a quick look at the packaging. We've got the black case XX style uh, box with tested XX on the sides. Uh, made in the USA as all case knives, well pretty much all of them are. you got model number 42655 brown bone PC jig mini copper lock pattern number is 61749L and it's in the stainless steel true sharp stainless steel looks like this was made March 28th of 23 so pretty recent pretty recently made knife but yeah so let's take a closer look at the knife itself we've got uh, 3 and 5 eighths inch handle length so kind of a medium sized knife here for traditional beautiful brown bone on this one and has the peach seed jigging this is a kind of one of their standard handle materials I didn't have one in this so I thought yeah and you know you kind of have to have one of these is sort of uh, one of their more mainstay handle materials so I thought I'd take a look at it also has the arrowhead shield and I don't really have any of those I have I think all of mine eyes have the oval style shield so this is a little bit of departure from that but we've got nickel silver bolsters and nickel silver shield, brass pins, really good transitions here. This one's a, this pin is a little more rounded off to uh, make that a little more durable, which is nice. And then you've got two pins there at the top that are very, very well done. Good transitions to the handle. And I think that peach seed jig just looks fantastic. Now I've got some amber bone peach seed jig handles but uh, not had the brown bone yet so this is yeah again one of their standard handle materials I wanted to check out if we look at the bottom here we have pretty nice fit and finish brass liners and that stainless steel locking mechanism of course this being a locking uh, knife it's kind of in the middle uh, of the back I guess it's a lock back but it's going to more toward the middle of the handle but uh, all that looks to be really well finished. That's very smooth on the edges. I don't feel any edginess across the bolster or anything like that. Of course, that tang elbow sits down in there. Very much like what you'd expect from a copperhead design. So you have a nice smooth profile across the top there. And again, like really no gapping or anything like that. I mean, maybe just some minor stuff right here. But uh, overall... Pretty satisfied with that. Looks pretty decent. And I am always a little more forgiving with lockback knives with a little bit of gapping here where the spring or the mechanism has to move a little bit. So I'm all right with that. If we look at the back, again, really well matched. Everything's smooth on this side as well. Feels really good across the top of the handle and the bottom. So really happy with that fit and finish there. And the brown bone, I mean, it's a little more glossy than that amber bone that they use. But still looks very nice. The jigging looks good. Good good color transitions here. Gets a little lighter towards the edges, which is always nice to see. Got some color transition there. So yeah, really happy with that. And this is a design that I really like. I think it's, you know, really kind of... One of those size knives that fits right in that uh, area of the perfect length, three and three quarter inches is kind of my ideal length for pocket knife, and this is like three and five eighths, so very close to that. If we look at this clip point blade, you can see we've got a total length with the tang, two and three quarter inches, and then a cutting edge just shy of two and a half, so call that two and three eighths got a swedge on the clip point blade here and you can see that it's a pretty nicely done little swedge there on the clip portion of the blade there's a look at the blade grind and if we look at the other side you see that beautiful long pole nail neck which I really really like kind of a classic design there's a look at the blade edge on this side 
So not horrific, not perfect. But you can see that maybe a little lighter on this side than this, but not too bad in any case. Pretty evenly done. Let's take a look at the tang. Always interesting. So we've got the case XX there, and appears that this is a nine dot. No, not a nine dot. What is this? Looks like there's five at four at the top and three at the bottom. So seven dot, which would make sense being the third year. And then you've got uh, case XX USA and then the pattern number there, 61749SS. So everything, all the information there on the one side of the tang. We flip it over, we see that it's blank. So pretty interesting. Got nice smooth uh, pull on it. It's got a little spring there. You can see it sits down in there pretty good. And it breaks free about right here. And then locks up really nicely. Let's check the blade wobble. Blade rock. Not feeling either. That feels really solid. So I'm pretty happy with that, uh, that lock up. Feels great in the hand. Super comfortable knife. Almost like a sod buster in your hand like this. This uh, portion here keeps your forefinger from going forward, but you can choke up like that. And even in that choke position, I'm getting about three and a half fingers on there. This feels very, very comfortable in the hand. I'm squeezing down tightly and not having any hot spots. The edginess inside that liner is non-existent. It's already been rolled over. You can just tell that they've done that already. And that's one thing that's great about Case is that they do smooth over all the edges and their mat handle material is always great. The one thing that many people have complaints with is like the gapping and the, the scales between the scales and the liners and things. But this is pretty nicely done. And I'm hoping that they are improving. This being a newer release is encouraging because I'm not seeing any problems with this one. So... Hopefully they're getting their quality control issues all worked out. And I'm confident that they can get their act together and get back to where they used to be. Now the blade centering, you know, is a little off there, but all you do is, you know, you hit that to the side. Now it's kind of centered. So there's a little bit of wobble within the handle, but when you open it up, it's just absent of that. There's nothing there anymore. So I'm not too concerned about the... Uh, the centering on that because really it's just in question of how it gets released inside the body so pretty nicely done there no rubbing on the blade or anything like that pretty happy with the quality of the fit finish overall again $49.99 they're kind of giving you a price break I think because it's more of a standard cover material that they're using here but really it's just the coloring uh, maybe they make more of the brown ones than other colors but uh, i mean if you want to get a red one or or a green one or something you know it's uh it's just more expensive so maybe it's just a a matter of availability or the number that they make maybe they can reduce the price of these because they're maybe not quite in as high demand i don't know exactly but in any case i'll jump on that price break and say thank you please get this for under fifty dollars and i'll be happy with that but Great pattern. I, I really enjoy this particular pattern from Case. I think it's a solid uh, piece. Good size, 3 and 5 eighths. Not too small, not too big. Kind of right in that Goldilocks zone, I suppose, for most carries. Now, if we were to look at a medium slip, let's just take a peek at this guy. I think this would probably be the perfect size slip for you. Medium size slip from Rough Rider if you want to kind of protect the handles a little bit there so that works out really well but that's going to do it for my review guys i hope you enjoyed it trying to bring you guys a little more case knives here and there as i can afford them and uh, this one was a pretty good price for 50 bucks still fits in that budget realm and uh, i think it's a uh, really well made and you get a high quality knife for that 50 dollars that's going to do it for my review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit that bell to be made aware of videos when they drop. And we'll see you next time. Take care.